Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday and we're going shopping. Not just regular shopping, but tax store shopping because today is the day that we're going to buy presents for prizes for our horse show on the weekend. I'm excited. Uh, one of you guys sent me a list of a really good idea. She said like, uh, treats and there's a bunch of things that she said that I saved the comment it sounded really good I also noticed that at our tax store our local tax store they have Easter baskets designed kind of for kids but they have like little chocolate Easter eggs in them and it comes with like a horse bucket like super fun stuff so I might try something like that getting like a water bucket and then putting stuff in that like I'm just excited to to do it I want my lanyard from that show yeah, Gabby won the lanyard that she uses and for Gracie's that show. Halter. And Gracie's halter from that show. Buy a halter. Yeah, we could buy a halter, but in the past we've sponsored other shows, but I've just given money. So this is like the very first time that we're sponsoring a show. And it might not sound like a big deal, but to me, it feels like a big deal because it represents our business and it represents us and it represents giving and it represents I don't know, like I just really like the idea of it and I wanna get more into it. I wanna get more into like the the supporting our fellow equestrians more and if donating prizes or money to show series um, helps do that, then I love it. All right, Gabby's got her big bazooka. So let's start today. Let's start today. Well, that's big. <laughs> it rained last night. The ground's still frozen, so that means- Look at, there's a green spot that in the means, field. Yeah, yeah, green grass. Molly, come here. It's not going to go far, so don't, so don't, Molly. So uh, the trailer, trailering work is not gonna work today. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the problem is, is that the ground is all wet. And if I try and get her in the trailer today, it's just going to, no, eat your, eat your food first. If I try and get her into the trailer today, it's just gonna rip up the ground and create a mud pit. Which is the problem with spring. Spring is a mud pit. So I have to just wait for it to dry up a bit. Don't, the door. Why are you hitting the door? Wait till I move back here. Wait. Oh my God, you're fine. Doesn't even go that far. There we go. Scared all the horses. <laughs> oh, get it, Molly. You get it. Oh, good job, Molly. Bring it back, Molly. Bring it back. Drop it. It's okay. Big bang, here it comes. <laughs> the horses are all like, what is that? What is that Gabby doing? All right, so you guys saw me ride Penny on the road yesterday. Drop it. Two Drop problems it. I'm having, and why do I tell you guys my problems? Like there are some other channels out there that would never tell you their problems, only show you the good stuff. The reason I'm telling you my problems is because one, I want you to know that if you're having the same problem, we can get past it together, and that it's normal, and that it's real. And the other reason I tell you guys is because even though I have like trainers, like a couple of, I have like three trainers kind of now that I can talk to about it. Um, even though they give me suggestions and advice, imagine having like hundreds of people that you could talk to that give you advice on how to fix it. So yeah, that's why I tell you. So basically, you saw me ride Penny yesterday, was amazing, like so amazing. But what you didn't see were two things. She, so there's a little bit of gravel further on on the road. She won't walk on it. Like it, she takes one step on it and she's like, ah! So, uh, I'm gonna try the boots with her. I don't think there's anything else I can do, just not ever go on gravel with her, but none of our horses really like gravel anyways. So that's just, a, I guess, probably something I'm gonna have to deal with, not go on the gravel. Um, but the other thing is, is that 
Gabby and, Kay and Sophie were out there with the ponies and I was riding back towards home and they were running with the ponies and playing with the ponies, which I want them to do. I want to socialize her to that. But her big issue in life is if a horse comes running up behind her, which I know is normal, she loses her mind. So with this new bit that I'm using, which I'll explain in a future video, hopefully soon, total different horse, totally different experience riding her, especially when she's spooked. So Gabby came running, it's always Gabby, came running with Gracie up behind Penny, and Penny heard her coming and got so scared, she tucked her bum, sidestepped me into the driveway of our property and then ran me home to the barn as fast as she could. And the trouble is this, I could have stopped her easily because the new bit and she's just much more calm and more relaxed and I should have stopped her, but it took me a few minutes to figure out what I was doing and then I realized it was the most fun thing. Like when she goes fast, like Sam's like, they were all freaking out. Sam's like, are you okay? Are you are you trying to do that? And I was. I just was sitting there. Like, she wasn't even cantering. That's how slow she was going. But Sam thought she was going really fast. And... You know your dog's a cat. When he plays with a cat toy. I know. And um, so I let her do it, which is the biggest mistake. So I know not to do that. But how do you train your horse to be okay with horses coming up behind her? We've, in the past, like last, when we first got her, we've done work where, like, Gabby would run Gracie in front of her, behind her, and we take turns going in front and going in back and all that stuff with all the horses, but she, it's, her still, it's still her default situation is that she freaks out when somebody comes up behind her, running up behind her. So what do you guys do? What do you suggest? All right, are we ready for this? We are headed to the tech store. We're gonna go and buy all the stuff we need for the show. Meaning like, we need to do a video on what we need for the show. I don't even know what we need for a show. But, farm girls gotta have this kind of stuff in their purse. Because on a rainy day, no matter how much you change your coat, change everything, you still smell like horses after you've done it's chores. It's cloudy. Yeah, but it was like, damp holds it into you. But anyways. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try and get what we need for the horse show, like we need spot cleaner, right? Do we need any of that? Like, um, horse treats, we need more horse treats. For we need more horse treats. I don't treats. think we do because bays don't really get the Okay, spots. well we also have a Palomino. So we're gonna buy the stuff. Palomino needs it. So we're gonna buy the stuff we need for the horse show and we're gonna buy the stuff we need for the prizes that we're buying for. If you missed yesterday's video, then I am sponsoring a division in the show so I'm buying prizes for the champion and the reserve champion and so we're gonna go buy the prizes all right so this is what I think we should do you go find the champion basket you find the champion prizes you go find the reserve champion prizes I think a couple of brushes would be fun or a hoof pick like pick a color these are cute I'll go with orange. I'll go with orange. okay so you go ahead pick whatever and then we'll add them to our basket oh, okay. I like that one. That's my favorite. Yeah, those are good. Do you get the bigger or smaller? I don't know. I think the bigger is better because uh, yeah. this one's having a big I sale right now, and there's no tax, and they have a 20% off of these products. So that I don't know. That's like that ball's too big for her mouth. But she grabs like here, anyways. What are you getting? Spur straps. Spur straps. New spur straps. Ask if they're adult size. I'm gonna remember all the things that I had on my list. I always have like a lot of things on my list when we come here. Then when we get here, I can't remember. Mom, this is what the Pasifinos have. Yeah. Bitless, bro. We're It's like a hackamore. Is it? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going down to our favorite part. There's Holly. Holly, the border collie. What we're looking for down here, I don't know if we can get it here. So two things we couldn't get. get Gabby uses a spray for her boots. Do you get that at Green Hawk? Yeah. I'm getting that. I wanted to put it in our baskets for the prizes. Oh. Can't get that here. 
And I can never find a show pad here. So Gabby wants a black. Oh yeah, Gabby wants a black Lemieux saddle this. pad. But they only have it in dressage. Ooh, they have gray. Cute. That is cute. They have like a hundred thousand dressage ones. And none in close con close contact. So the other thing that I can't this get is here is the show pad. You know the horse show pad that you this wear? Has this and Looks like this. That kind of does look like it. This one's for jumpers and eventers. This one's for jumpers. You can't wear that. Oh, okay. That Gracie would look cute with that, huh? Yeah. Do they have the other saddle pad brand that you like? Ogilvy? Yeah. They're like mainly sold out of Ogilvy's. This is all the stuff that we got. We're home and I'm starving. I'm making myself some soup. But while I make the soup, I want to show you guys what we bought at the tax store today. So basically, I bought six bags of shavings because we always got to have shavings. Like that's just what we have to have. Here, so I also bought, I also bought us another big, huge, ginormous bag of treats. It's oh, from Martin's Treats. I love those treats. It's for those are for our barn. And they are, what flavor are they? Apple flavor. So when our chiropractor was here the other day, she said that she didn't like the look of Chino's leg. When he had um, cellulitis, the vet told me that his leg was gonna probably like stock up sometimes if he was standing for long periods. And he does do that. So once he gets moving, it goes away. So she told me that she, so like I love our, our chiropractor. I consider our chiropractor a friend and I consider her like this unbelievable resource that's kind of free. <laughs> Even though I pay for the chiropractor treatment, she's a vet and she has horses and she understands like a lot of stuff that I don't understand. So when she messages me and says, hey Laura, I think you should try this on Chino, I say, okay, thank you so much. And then I try it on Chino. So she told me to get this um, equine anti-flam. So we're gonna give them this. And this uh, Vantiox, which is an antioxidant muscle protector. So she wanted me to try this and this. And so I got it. It was 20% off these things today and no tax for the sale. I bought Penny's Quiescence. You guys know this is what we, this is a magnesium supplement, not like the cheap magnesium that you can buy, like the food grade stuff you can buy. This is actually um, a really good magnesium supplement that I love. It costs 70, it costs 60 three dollars for this tiny little bag you can also buy it in a big bucket for 179 dollars which gives me like 20 dollars savings kind of thing um and it lasts me for two months this will last me like a week and a half maybe two weeks this will probably last me two weeks the other thing lasts me two months so it's way better deal uh they ordered it for me but it won't be until next week and we're almost out so i had to get that plus the shavings i looked at their sales rack and they had these breeches for sale they were uh, $39.97 on sale from $82.99. And I like this material. This is the kind of material I like. It's probably a wintering material, which is why it's on sale. But it's a really stretchy material. And I, these are the kind that I really like. Uh, they're size 32. I'm a 32 or a 12, usually. And, um, I like the material, so I got those because they were on sale. A 32 to a 12? Yeah, so there's two different ways to measure. There's three different ways. You can do small, medium, or large. Or you can do... Um, 32, 30, 26, 28. A small and a medium. Yeah. I'm small, but my legs are long, so I need a medium for the long legs. Yeah. Or you can go buy 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Or 22, 24, 26, 28. You know, got it? Okay. Abby's a size 25, and I'm a 32. Yeah, that's the true story of life. I've also had five babies and menopause, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. So, also, I bought a ruby. Just joking. The store that we were at was having a promotional Easter promotion and they had these buckets that they were selling for $20. So each bucket, they had nicer colors. They ran out by the time we got there. Um, they only, and they were designed for kids. So I asked her, could she design me a bucket for $20? So basically she took a bucket, the only ones they had left. She designed it, but they ended up being $30 because um, it's, I don't know. They just ended up being $30. So this is, what she put in them, she put like a bigger bag of treats in the other bucket. She gave them a sponge, which I love them having a sponge. Um, and she got one of these brushes. She got some chocolate eggs in the bottom. Uh, she got this kind of a brush. And she got a really cute pink hoof pick. So I picked that one out. 
yeah so this came oh is there something else no so oh yeah there's something else and okay so also um uh, a mane and tail comb so this is this was all thirty dollars so daisy it's not for you so my plan was to add some more like eastery stuff because it's kind of just before easter this show and i decided to get some peeps the girls and I decided on a gift card for Starbucks. So I'm going to put like a $10 gift card for Starbucks in here. And then I'm going to wrap it with this clear paper and I'm going to put a ribbon around it. And I got, oops, red ribbon for first place for champion. And I got blue ribbon for reserve champion. That's Those are the colors that we use in Canada. So the other bucket has the exact same thing except for that it's got an orange hoof pick and an orange and an orange brush it's got like the same exact stuff and the peeps and there's a little bit of chocolate in there so anyway those are our baskets I could have done it myself and made like way nicer baskets like bought the buckets and then bought all the stuff but they had a promotion going on where they took money off like these were on sale these baskets the only reason they were $30 is because I asked them because they the ones that they had in the store were designed for little kids and so she put like bigger stuff in there like maybe we'll get better at making prize baskets um as we do it because I'm excited to do it right Daisy right Daisy are you excited hopefully my horse is not a pig pen again Oh, wait, I have this bag of carrots. Does anybody need carrots? Here, Gabby. I have a huge bag. Your pony doesn't listen to carrots. All right. Ha ha, Penny Pickle. I had so much fun riding her last night. You guys will never understand. Oh, that was last night? Yeah, like, she ran off to go home because she was scared because the kids came running up behind her, which is the thing that she doesn't do well. And it was so fun. Like, you just sit there and I was like, go faster! <laughs> That's how smooth this girl is. So we're back down in the barn because it is time. Oh, and they look like they're kind of energetic. She might be feeling better today, energetic, ready to roll. These are too big. Not for you. Not for you. Okay. So uh, anyways, we're gonna work on our ponies. Cause we're like behind on the course, but we're behind on the course because the course has a lot of information in it, like so much information. It's really hard to get through it. Like one little course will have like six exercises in it and we can't manage that. Like it's just gonna take us, like we just have to take it a little bit slower and you're allowed to be behind in the course. So we're still working on getting our horses to cross, uh, cross something, sidestep over something, over a pole or over a, block or something. Gabby and Sophie pretty much have it. I'm not even close, so I'm just gonna go back and still work on the things I need to work on. vlogs you guys is that like we just show you little tiny bits of things that we do when I rode Penny yesterday there's a whole lot more riding we played with our ponies out there we did a lot of stuff out there but I was like busy working with Penny and excited to be working with Penny so Sam was in charge of filming and he doesn't film very much so even though you just see like a little bit of us training with her ponies, we actually spent a lot more time training with them. Like I have to cut it all out because otherwise her vlogs would be too long. So much fun though. Get this party started. 
Got the music playing loud How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud I got my dancing shoes on And I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started Yeah, we gon' be adventurous We went to the club like we always do This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you Then she left the room Bartender. I'll have the usual Give me the usual I'll take the usual I got her in like a lot a lot a few steps more there's a good few steps more there and we're getting there this is just the way we're gonna try and we're working on it and she's not it's not that she can't do it it's that I haven't found her trick yet she has a trick I should have watched her owner trying to load her yeah she's coming in even though I didn't invite her come on ah oh. is that what you want this summer because Willow can't handle all that grass but Penny and Gracie probably can so how's it gonna work you guys come on Penny Pickle come on she's gonna run Here she comes. Hey, girl, I mean, can you 